they uh, get their legs up in stirrups and they're like looking back and they're like ah it hurts so bad well some of them want mirrors did your wife ask did your wife get offered a mirror yeah dude we had it did you really yeah that's fucked up. Like, I see here. My wife was offered, and she was like, "God, no!" It was like one like fucking arm out and like <laughs> half of the head, just hang, hanging out of the bottom half of someone. And there's just like a trail of blood out oh. like, after they pull the baby out. Like, and there's the picture of the placenta. Like the first time, I was like, I was like, "Oh, that's rubbery!" Oh my god, I didn't go through. If I cut it long, will he have a long wiener? All right, we got so it. I think I'm ready. <laughs> Welcome to 8-Bit Dad, I'm Brian Ferguson. And I'm Zach Rosenberg. 8-Bit Dad is the modern parent source for news reviews and fatherly opinions updated daily on 8BitDad.com. On this show, we talk about some of the top stories and some of the most popular stories on 8-Bit Dad. That's right, we are the founding fathers of 8-Bit Dad. <laughs> we help aggregate parenthood news from across the internet. And uh, we also... Uh, include personal stories and blog posts and interviews and interviews we have a lot of interviews uh, that we've been kind of racking up and we've been suckering people into totally talking yeah we th <laughs> they think we're big somehow we're not <laughs> Don't tell. so yeah <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a story that you'd like to contribute to us and i hope you do me too you can email us at dads at apadad.com and if you want to write for us, and we also hope that you do, yes. you can check out our contribute page, and that's at 8bitdad.com slash contribute. That's right. And you can follow us on uh, Twitter, which is twitter.com slash 8bitdads, or you can like us and poke us and do whatever else you want Thumbs to do. Us. Us. Thumbs up our whatever. Facebooks. Yeah. At uh, facebook.com slash 8bitdad. You can find us on Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest, um, I don't even know how that works, so... I don't think so. You can push pins into us. And this week's show is brought to you by Mickey's Malt Liquor. That's fine right. Malt Liquor. Fine. It says Fine Malt Liquor right on the front. It's actually not brought to you by them, but it's... We're hoping to get some... Bringing us to them. Sponsorships or something. Something. So we're at episode 15. This is episode 15. If we were Roman, it'd be episode XV. <laughs> In Super Bowl terms, that would be correct. I don't know why the Super Bowl adopted the Roman, Roman. numerals. Because they wanted to look tough. You know, gladiator style. I mean, it kind of looks tough. It looks like you're, you know... Looks like a bunch of dudes grabbing each other's butts. It's it's pretty gladiator And throwing around a ball made of nut skin. Yeah. That's, that's totally true. I mean, true. just from an outsider's standpoint. No, that's true. I watch basketball, though. So Basketball's kind of like the same thing, yeah. There's it's a just... whole lot of dudes sucking nut in that sport. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, we didn't have a podcast question this week. We totally forgot. He's got a new job. I'm I've... like one week on and one week off with these podcast <laughs> questions now. I wrote one up. It's like it's going through this time. So, check on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, if which is today. If you're watching the show on this, on, yeah, if you're watching this from the website right well, now. This is, uh, today is. Right, um, right then now. January then. 31st. It's almost February. Can you believe that? I, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how the calendar works. Oh. Is that really how that works? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you just kind of. The numbers go up, oh. and all of a sudden they're like back down again. Hey, it's the first. Gotcha. Time to pay rent. Hope you have it. So, so, what should we do instead? Oh, we should we should do some more Twitter dun, searching. Dun, 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 trolling the Twitter. Twitter searching. We don't have a theme song for this. <laughs> Take off your bowlers. But <laughs> can we talk about how we uh, look like the Aryan race this week? Oh, totally. I think I accidentally. So what happened? You uh, went that. crazy with the razor. Yeah, well, you know... It's kind of like it's crazy with the cheese whiz, but... <laughs> I was channeling yeah. back. Yeah. But not really. Not really. I don't know. I just... Uh, you, you, know, just you just time. went for it? It's time. You should have done so your fast. eyebrows, too. I did my body. Okay. So I've got, like, hair poking through my shirt. I've well, got, like... Well, you don't need to see that. My... my Not yet, at least. Penis looks like one of those, like, hairless cats. All right. That's TMI, as they so say. So we're going to be on Twitter, right? Yep. We're doing something with Twitter? <laughs> Uh, there's, We're looking up kids' books. Yeah, there's Twitter. there's a lot of um, different hashtags that you can follow, or I don't know how the hashtags work. I mean, like I don't know who decided hashtags are the, are like the new. It just takes off. Yeah, I mean, like Instagram is doing that, mm -hmm. uh, Twitter's doing that, so you can search for like hashtag 
uh, mm. Kid Lit we're going to search for today. Kid Lit, yeah, yeah, that's one that I saw. What'd you see? I saw, um, I saw you know, Dan uh, Nessel from uh, DadDoes.com. What's his uh, Dan, Twitter name? His name's Dan Dad Does. Dan Dad Does. Dan Dad Does. He, uh, he had posted something earlier. That's how I found... That's how I found this, and of course now I don't see this thing anymore. <laughs> but there was a uh, there was a list. There we go. All right, Dan Dad does. There was the uh, the librarian picks the top ten greatest Newberry Medal winners of all time. All right, I'm assuming the Newberry Medal is like something big. It's something pretty cool but for was, literature, uh, probably. I read through this list a little bit earlier, and okay. I knew like three of the books. What are the top? Uh, what's the, what does it start Let's with? See, top holes. 10? Holes was one holes. of the books uh, by Lewis Sacher. 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 Louis C.K. Uh, this was a big I book, I think, and maybe it was made into a movie on the Disney Channel or something. Okay. I think I remember the DVD when I was working at Best Buy. It, it may not even be... Um, I mean, is it like a... What, what age range is this? I was the winner in 1999. Uh, it's two stories. One about some kid at Camp Green Lake for stealing a pair of sneakers. Blah, 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 blah. You have to dig a hole. Uh, I don't know. It's a young adult book. This is what it seems like. There you go. Uh, let's see. Number two is Bud, Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis. Mm -hmm. Winner in 2000. Uh, I never heard of it. The Giver by Lewis Laurie. Winner in 1994. Okay. Never heard of it. Wrinkle in Time these, by Madeline these sound, Le Engel. These sound like, like five to these ten like, range. Yeah, this sounds like, like the stuff I was reading in middle school. Like a yeah. Wrinkle in Time I read in middle school. Um, that's this was, that was a winner in 1963. So that's a, that's a, that's like a time-tested one. Ah. Uh. So and so sent across the universe to save Meg's father from the clutches of. It. Are there any Harry Potters? I don't know. No. I don't oh. Think so. Hero in the Crown, Robert McKinley, winner in 1985. Okay. King of the Wind by Mar Marguerite Henry, winner in 1949. Yeah, we'll skip that one. Uh, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Oh yeah, I by totally Robert O'Brien, winner in '72. That was one of my favorite uh, books and movies. Yeah, so uh, you know that that was like when I saw that I was like, oh, I am on the right list. Mm -hmm. uh, the Westing Game by Ellen Raskin, winner in '79. I don't know. Uh, View from Saturday, E. L. Koningsberg, winner in '97. When You Reach Me by Rebecca Stead, winner in 2010. I mean, come on. And this one, this year's winner was. Dead End in... Oh, shit, come on. Dead End in Norvelt by Jack Gantos. Good old Jackie. Jack Gant Gantos. That means he's on Twitter. We're going to get you. We're yeah, going to get Jack. We're going to get you. Uh, so, I don't know, man. This chick's been a librarian, so she knows. Well, she must know. I mean... I'm, like, reading, you know, rhyming crap to my kids still, so... Yeah. I, it's gonna, I mean, I, I'm going to favorite that tweet so I can find it later. <laughs> but, you know, like, those are those are pretty, you know, for older kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, my... my uh, I don't know, how old is she now? Yeah, what's she, what's she, what are you reading? She's like 16 months now, I want to say. 16 ish? One and a half ish? Yeah, she's one in four months, so she's, you know, she's still excited about um, just like, you know, a couple words a page. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Bright colors is a, is a necessity. She likes those books, like, like the, I don't know if you've read Tubby before. Seen them. It's like the Tubby time. Call, that, call me that sometimes. <laughs> No, it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like you know a, a little kid's just adventure to a bath, and you know he's like I'm naked, we and like you know time to get in, splash, yeah, you know, and then all that like you get to do stuff yeah, exactly. Totally. And the author, I'm, uh, I'm come, I'm gonna look him up right now. Um, he's got a bunch of other. Uh, a bunch of other books out there. Uh, let's see here. Christine Friedman? What? I'm just talking to the people about Mickey's a little. Uh, you should. <laughs> that's not the book, but um, that's a paperback version. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> like when you really want to like that's, dig deep on the tub time books, you get the paperback version. That's Ernie. When you want to read it on the plane. Let me see here. It's probably like Tubby and then Book. Tubby, Leslie, Patricio. That's it right there. Ah. Leslie Patricelli. Patris Patricelli? Patricelli. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I'm, I'm not like Italian. So I butcher names all the time. Patricelli. My dad's a rabbi. 
I don't think the Jews and the Italians got along together. I don't think they the uh, first half of World War wanted II, to pronounce other people's names correctly. So, but uh, yeah, she, my daughter loves books by Leslie. Um, you know, she has a really simplistic, bright colored style that's mm. great for any kid. Uh, and the pages are thick. It's like cardboard the board books. Yeah, yeah board totally. books totally. So those are great books for you know kids under the age of uh, two. I've been reading the the they're called like the bug books. They're by Stephen Cosgrove. They were books that my parents read me when I was like little, and I like drew in some of them so you could see like how shitty of an artist I was when yeah. I was two or three. Well, that's... But he loves them because they're like all like they're all like they're bugs and there's like cities and there's a poem at the beginning of each one and he like reads them with me and that's cool. It's all repetition at this age. It's like as long as you're reading something, yeah. And like you just keep doing it, then they're totally. gonna turn out okay and not kill people. So read to your kids. We hope. Look on Twitter, kid lit hashtag. We can only hope. So that's what we briefly found today. That was probably better than any podcast question conversation we've ever had. Yeah, we usually we have like one person respond and, and we're like, oh, Bruce Sellen <laughs> commented and he said, "Great going, guys." And. Everyone else just kind of... And everyone's like, oh, 8-Bit Dad's so unpopular. <laughs> Fuck you. So, what's our first story? <laughs> We're totally committed to finishing these Mickeys before the show is up, so... This looks ridiculous. Uh, if you don't like us now... Did we mention that we're a fatherhood we show? Wait, for, wait another 30 minutes and you're going to hate us, so... Totally. Or love us. I, mean, I don't know. We haven't drank these in a while, so... Let us know. Yeah, I'm, like, getting the sneezes right now, so... Wait, Lord, she's, like, <laughs> Lord, what is in what is in here? Like... Sadness and hate. <laughs> and dog dander. All right. So, <laughs> so we got the first story. The first story is yours. Yes. Thank God, because I can't do it right now. Uh, Stephen Colbert's first... No, no. That, I read that wrong. Uh, Stephen Colbert's full interview with children's book author Maurice Sendak. They gave that old Stephen Colbert a show nowadays? They did, after The Daily hmm. Show in the 1997s. <laughs> Uh, in the late 90s. <laughs> only in the late 90s. That's when they uh, decided that he was worthy of his own program. Uh, no, actually, he got, a, he got a start in The Daily Show in 1997. Then he got his, sh- uh, his show, Pretty The like Colbert Report, in 2005, the Colbert Report. <laughs> I think it was. And, you know, like, you, like that guy needed his own show. Like, when oh, you saw my him God. on The Daily Show, like, his, you looked at him and you're like, he's going to have his own show. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like him at first. I, 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 did, I refused to watch him. He could rub you wrong. Yeah. But he Not grew. Sexual. He definitely grew on me like, like a bad, you know, skin infection. Well, I think like when he had his own, when he had his like, when he had a sketch, he was kind of he was cranking it up to eleven. Yeah. And when they gave him his own show, he's like, I can't do this for a whole show. I gotta like. Yeah. And when he started seeing that people were like respecting what he said, mm-hmm. he's like, I gotta really like. Yeah, he ran for president in two thousand eight. Dig my heels <laughs> in and really do this. Yeah, so, I mean, he's like he's a great public speaker. He backed Herman Cain after Herman Cain dropped out. Yeah, the Her- Rocky like a Herman Cain. <laughs> he did a a thing in South Carolina. Oh, it's man. so awesome. He like he's all over the place, but he's like, and he's like, uh, I actually um, at my my full time job, I we had a correspondence because uh, my job. Uh, I don't want to say company names or anything, but they developed the world's lightest material, mm-hmm. and National Geographic wanted like some video. So I had of course to, they want everything. Don't yeah, they? they want they wanted pictures. They wanted like the unique you know yeah. angle to it all. Yeah, why not? You know, it's National Geographic. So and it was the lightest material on earth. Yeah, exactly. Like, seems like it's up our alley. Yeah, it's natural. So like I, I corresponded with one of the uh, the press people, and I asked him like I'm like. So what do you guys think about like the whole Nat Geo Wild thing about like cuz Colbert was doing this thing with like Nat Geo Wild uh he was he said that he was going to like hold a national debate on their show with Caesar Milan. <laughs> it was like this whole big joke. The dog whisperer. Yeah, it was so <laughs> awesome and they were like, "Oh my god, this is crazy because like he was expecting like to be, you know, courted by other networks." Mm-hmm. And he was like I'll, all I want is like a fruit basket with a note that says I'm in. Yeah. And National Geographic Wild totally did that. <laughs> it was so awesome. So I asked him I asked her about that and it was it was a riot. It was a laugh riot of a conversation. <laughs> but um yeah, this these interviews are amazing. Um I'm not sure if we're going to play them in the clip right here, but um But I'm playing them for myself right now. Yeah, exactly. He's actually looking at Pinterest. But um <laughs> <Check it out. laughs> 
putting some pins <laughs> up. <laughs> but these are gr- this is a great interview. Uh, Maurice definitely played into uh, Colbert's uh, character because Colbert is is playing a character on this show, and um, it's just a great you know, especially with a kids you know author. Mm-hmm. Like we just talked about, like kids' literature, uh, where the wild things are. He's most notably known for that book. So yeah, I didn't know he did uh, like other stuff. Yeah, I just assumed that was like he did. Uh, I was chicken, assuming it was one and done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chicken soup with rice uh, in the night kitchen and uh, the latest Bumble Artie, which is the uh, the non. That's not out yet, right? That's the non kosher what... version of um, the Bumble. Uh, I forgot what Stephen. <laughs> set on a show but yeah so there you go he's got other books besides that book uh, you know and I didn't know and he hates that he's Maurice hates that he's uh, known for where the wild where, where the wild things are only <laughs> guilty guilty as charged but uh, great interviews check those out we have one part one and two on our website uh, if you search for Stephen Colbert and you'll find that there hopefully Hopefully. Or you'll find the five fake Stephen Colbert posts I buried on the site. Whatever. Good luck. <laughs> what? I don't know. <sighs> hey, it's seems like it's half past Mickey's. It's the Mickey show. Are we halfway through our show? We need to, like, pick up the pace. <laughs> Your story. <laughs> so, I'm up next. Hey, nice to see you. Uh... <laughs> So I don't know if you caught it on our website. You should have because it's on a big fat banner on our website. But an, ar- an article called "Meet the Dad's Army: A Gaming Clan for Fathers." Yes, I uh, started talking to these guys last September and said, "That's hey, a long time ago." Yeah. Well, depending on when we put the show out, if we put it out in the past, it's right? Not, but exactly. Uh, but I, uh, you know, I told these guys, "Hey, you know what? Modern Warfare Three and." Battlefield 3 are coming out soon in November, and it'd be a great time for me to put this article out. So Modern, Modern Warfare 3 is on the PC as well? Uh, I think, yeah, they just they released it later, like a month later. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, like, the whole, the whole... They don't play too much of it, from what I understand. Okay. They had a server up, but I guess it's one of the less popular... Sorry, I'm like... Mickey, I know, this Mickey's thing... Out here. It's like getting warm, and we're like... <laughs> Slamming it <laughs> between stories. So uh, anyway, so I started talking to these guys months ago, and I just couldn't fit the story. And it's like you got to get motivated sometimes. And yeah. all of a sudden, I just got the fire under my asshole. And uh, anyway, so these guys are an all fathers, one mother, uh, gaming clan. Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally. Great Shouts. names. What up? Um, you got to be. Uh, you got to have a kid to be in the clan, but you obviously don't have to be a father. Do you have to? Prove that you have a ha- that you have a kid. No one really checks IDs, but they're assuming. Do you have to like submit a birth certificate or something like that? No, no, no. I don't think so. Because they like take a picture with your kid, like with the I don't newspaper know, but of today. They asked me if I signed up for their forum when I was like doing my research. Okay. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know why I lied to them. Like they <laughs> get the forms, like they would have known. I don't know why they asked. It was like a sucker question. All right. Like, did you sign up? And I'm like, yeah. I yeah, so the some secret other code word name. Is the password dads? Bubble be tuna. Uh, <laughs> your balls are showing. So, <laughs> any, anyway, uh, you know, gaming kind of runs deep in our generation. That was kind of one of the building blocks that we started this website on, and uh, that's how you build with blocks. And uh, you know, like everyone that's our age kind of knows. Like you know, let me start that thought over. Do it. You know, like, in our generation, like, you know you've gotten old when you start hating the music that's on the radio, and you're like, when I was your age, we didn't have auto-tune, et cetera, or whatever. Well, you can go either way with that. Uh, Same thing with, like, gaming, like, PC gaming or whatever. Like, now when you get on, like, Xbox Live and some kid's calling you, like, racial slurs that don't even apply to you, you're like, when I was your age, we didn't even have online gaming. We were, like, standing around an arcade, getting killed in Street Fighter by some Filipino wizard. (laughs) Because that was me. I was in the valley in California. It's true. But, uh, man, God, he was good with Ryu. Or Ryu, depending on which school you came from. But uh, let's get to the point of the story. <laughs> but anyway, well, should, gaming, uh, gaming runs deep with our, uh, with our generation. That's why I was really excited to find these guys. And I talked to this guy named George. And, uh, or Jorge. Or Jorge. I depending think George. on George. He's like in Virginia or something. Uh, <laughs> It goes by the name of Burner. 
And I talked to another guy named Robbie, who goes by the name of Rob the Bruce. Um, or Roberto. The names, the names always sound so stupid when you're like saying them, but like when you're in game, you're like, Rob the Bruce, on your flank, on your flank. I don't think people call him Rob the Bruce. I think they just call him Rob. They probably just call him Rob. Yeah. 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 The Bruce is probably his last name. <laughs> the Bruce. The Bruce. His middle name is The. Hello, Mr. The Bruce. <laughs> Mr. The Bruce. The nice Bruce. frag. Call Rob. Did they say so, frag anymore? Or did they I just think say. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's probably just anymore. kill. So, the clan started in 2002. Wow. With uh, two guys years. playing uh, Medal of Honor Airborne Assault. Or uh, something else with AA and that. Allied Assault. Ooh, shit. Sorry, Ooh. guys. Uh, I didn't play the, the MOH series. Yeah, we just played uh, Counter Strike. Yeah. <laughs> Counter Strike, the uh, World War II mod. I yeah. think it was. And uh, so these dudes started in 2002 and like ran with it hard. And uh, they had like an inner circle that they called the HQ and those guys were the guys that like, you know, took care of the servers. These guys charge a like a monthly fee or a every six month fee mm-hmm. and that goes towards the upkeep of the servers and they have like a Ventrilo server. That's cool. That's only the fair. Voice chat yeah. and, I mean like these guys like have it in order. It's not just like they're a clan that jumps on Xbox Live and like Yeah. And they play like after whenever. the kids go to bed or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They put their families to bed and like go and play and they say people drop out of the games all the time to like yeah. tuck their kids back in or it's, it's really cool to like have a like, you know like have a group of guys mm-hmm. or a group of uh, guys and female and female um, uh, to like understand you know because there's no there's nothing worse than like being on a ventrilo or ventril ventrilo <laughs> whatever you want to say um, I've never used it I have no idea uh, there's nothing worse than like someone just giving you shit like saying like oh come on dude we're like in the middle of a yeah a battle or a quest or AFK, whatever. Man? It's like, yeah, oh so man, I gotta put the best. Like, I guess, but I, I, bleh, you know, yeah. like exactly. <laughs> so what and, they say. And uh, surprisingly enough, these dudes also have like a no cursing rule. Some also, Mickey's. what? And <laughs> these guys no have, cursing. Yeah, that's, no cursing rule. That's which, pretty cool. You know, you'd think initially. I looked at that. I was like, oh, I couldn't do that. Yeah, but it really like it makes you think constructively about your teammates. And, and it makes like you they don't give each other shit. Like they they give each other shit. Like I looked in their forum. Like they definitely yeah. They're they each other. Dole out insults, but you know they just they keep it clean enough, just in case the kids are around. You know, and I, I understand that. That's if if your kids are watching you play. You're not always playing with headphones. You don't want f bombs being thrown out. Yeah. So uh, they uh, they just appointed um, a new guy to their HQ, which was kind of exciting. Cool. They just hit their they hit their 10 year anniversary in January. Yeah. Like coordinated, coordinated especially with our article. Um, wasn't planned, but yeah, it wasn't really. I emailed them. I was like. You guys are hitting 10 years right now, right? And the guy's like, yeah, yeah we are. He didn't say it like that. Happy 10 years. We're drinking, Happy 10 years. We're drinking. That almost broke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it almost so, broke on my computer. And my couch. We're so, almost uh, there. Yeah. So they so. they promoted some guy named Sith Spawn ooh, to their HQ. Oh, they play, they play uh, no, Knights, they Knights of the Old Republic. I don't think they do. They do? I don't know. I, I looked in their forums and they looked, they looked like they had uh, certain signatures yeah, you attributing know, to them. It's possible. As sure, why not? 85 <laughs> Sith Warriors or something like they that. They play, uh, let's see, they still play Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Mm-hmm. George George Burner was telling me that they still have a crew of guys that play that like Wednesday nights. Oh man, Unreal Tournament. I'm, I used to play that shit all the time. Hey man, who didn't? They play. Uh, they play Battlefield. I used to rock up to like Prodigy and like just put that in the background. Chemical just Brothers. Like, uh, I still listen to them. Battlefield Three, Team yeah. Fortress. They play all that stuff. Cool. But yeah, he's like, you know, it's really cool. They do. They Check do. Them out. Uh, they've done charity. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Read the. If interview. you're a gamer, uh, uh, and you're a dad, hopefully, you know, you're watching yeah. the show. Yeah. If you're a father and you're looking for a clan and you want someone who's sympathetic to. Uh, being a father yeah these are the dudes they're really nice guys and they all commented on the article so you can totally get to know them there or go to their website all right so um this is a quick hit the next story which is uh, best father daughter wedding dance ever that's like not showing up when i click on this uh i'll play it for you but um yeah this is a great i i i I attributed the wadsworth constant on this one and for anyone who doesn't know what the Wadsworth constant is, it's um, I had to look it up. We ha- <laughs> it's based on Reddit, and Reddit is the uh, front page of the internet. For those that don't know, 
Um, but the Wadsworth constant is an axiom which states that the first 30% of any video uh, you, can, you can skip because it contains no worthwhile or interesting information. Same thing with music. Same thing. So DJs can mix it together. Totally. I mean, th this is a great formula to follow. Uh, not on our show because we have an <laughs> we have an interesting moment every like thirty percent ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's not 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 really fair to con fast forward. We really can't do Mickey. <laughs> we gotta go back to like regular beer. <laughs> Dude, this is <sighs> killing me right now. So, anyways, <laughs> this I I did this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. So they break out like with this, uh, you know, this like standard, standard father daughter dance music. And I hope I'm not live on anywhere else here. Maybe I am. Here we go. Oh, I'm muted. Cool. Okay. So then they they bust out like the lighting guy in the background, like does the whole light. Shit starts going haywire. Yeah, and you're like, and the they're trying to like pretend like what's going on, and then they, they, they bust into like Mr. Roboto, like with the, yeah. you know. I thought when I first saw your uh, when I first saw this headline, I had one that it might even still be in draft. Okay. I had one of these videos I just could not bring myself to write about, like months ago. I'm not trying to be like the hipster no, 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 father-daughter cool. dance thing, but like you know, like you said, there's a lot of these out right now. There's a lot there of these. There was a black couple that I saw. Yeah, with the... Um, you know, it's like on the parenting websites, it's always like, they always say best father-daughter dance, and you're like, you said that a month ago. Like, yeah. Now this one's the best one, but yeah. Oh, I, we got a few shares and a few tweets, you know, like it's... Best enough for us. But, you know, it, <laughs> yeah, it kind of takes you to like, to like the whole evolution of dance, dance, you know, thing where... These things are popular right now. It was like that whole thing that The Office did where like The Office had that procession yeah. thing and all of a sudden it was like every video on the internet was procession songs. No, no, I think I think or they whatever. based that off of the... They, they, they based that, that off of... On that you did. You totally did. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, internet. No, because like this, uh, this JK wedding whatever entrance uh, dance that they had going on. Like, I hate this thing. I, I, it has 72 million hits yeah, or views or whatever. Thanks, Babel. So, <laughs> but I like this video a lot. It hasn't gotten a lot of hits yet. Um, it only has like, what, 7,000 or something like that? Let's check it out, yeah. It's coming up on 7,000 views. Coming up on it. Coming up. Let's it, get it over the top. Let's push it over the top. So check that story out right not, now. If it's not 7,000 by the time you watch it. Yeah, we gave Tuesday, it the props. Be, so. And um, it's on there in the comments. So so like check that, that comment. Out. Like, like that comment. Make sure that they know that we're... Do everything we an say. influential force on the internet. Yes. And we'll send you a bottle of Mickey's. <laughs> we'll you'll, probably... You'll hate it like we do. Put it in a Ziploc bag. But drink it anyways because it's free. <laughs> Because they just put it outside of liquor stores, hoping that someone takes it. Hoping that the homeless take it and kill each other. Oh, this is getting warm. So check that out. It's a great, um, it's the best, uh, you know, video that I saw out there with the I didn't really, audience. I didn't watch the African-American couple. Well, you know. I just say black, but I don't know what you're supposed to say these days. You know, it's all, it's all good. It's all gravy. But um, that was a good one. Yeah, good hit. There you go. We should just make a section just for those. It's called the it's called the nets, <laughs> or around the internet. It's on the top front page of our website. It's the Quickers. Yes. I don't know what that means? It's the Mickey's. It's the Mickey's. Next so, story. Possibly the most difficult story to explain when I'm farthest into the Mickey's bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and farthest into the podcast. So, English blokes, new fathers for justice, rallying against Ken Clark this Saturday. Now, Ken Clark sounds like a superhero name. He, I gotta yeah, say, totally. it sounds like. Well, and that's England for you. It sounds like something <laughs> Their villains that are named like superheroes. <laughs> no, this guy, Ken Clark, is the uh, fuck. I have it here somewhere. The British Secretary for of State for Justice, British Secretary of State. For justice, okay, and we got we actually got this as a tip. We got this as a tip straight from New Fathers for Justice. Yeah, there's an interesting story behind that. I'll Go power for it. through it quick. Do it. So let's say a year ago, because that's when everything happened on our website. Um, I flamed this dude that was a member of New Fathers for Justice. 
I you know I Google dads on the internet and like to see what news comes up. Okay, so yeah. on the Daily Mail, hilariously referred to by Britons as the Daily Fail. Oh, I actually confirmed <laughs> this with one. Uh, what about the Huffington Post? What is that called? They don't say that's not oh. their paper, so they don't. Oh, isn't that in England? That was in England. No, Ariana Huffington. She's oh. Californian. She is. Yeah, she ran for governor. Well, she sounds like she's from another country. She's like Israeli or something. Oh, okay. Ariana. Huffington. Not that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with her. Nothing wrong with you. Yeah. No, it's, uh, actually, I hate her. Oh, me too. Yeah, she's kind of like annoying. Yeah. Whatever. Eh. Whatever. She made All a right. great website, and they well bought it. There's a lot of a lot of writers. writers. A lot of writers that are working for free right now. Yeah, totally. Anyway, so... Like we are. The Daily Fail uh, reported on this, uh, this dude, uh, Matthew Starmore. Uh, about a year ago, he was arrested mm. and... <laughs> this is like the worst time bottle blow ever. <laughs> uh, it just totally broke me. I can't even explain the story now. Um, so this That's dude was arrested it. for something <laughs> and uh, he was found to have or accused of having explosives in his house etc cetera, etc cetera. I don't even know how the case turned out maybe Who I doesn't? got it over my head but I flamed him on the article and was like you're not doing great things for fathers motherfucker commented on the article <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he uh, he came to his own defense and we sure as shit did publish that as its own article he because he, he came out in spades as a hurting father who hasn't seen his kids in years and blah 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 blah. he wrote a lot so I was like let's I saw start. the comments and I was like whoa this is an article in yeah. itself. I was like let's start following this guy yeah. so we put that up and it really endeared him to us like it really like he immediately was like Dude, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot for posting that. Gosh, that means a lot. So yeah. we, every now and then, and by every now and then, I mean never before this, hear from these guys. <laughs> yeah. But I had covered him a couple times before because they're famous for wearing superhero costumes in their uh, protests. Yeah, and this guy... Which is more awesome than anything in these in this country. We, <sighs> when our fathers like try to like rally against the system, they wear suits to court because they're getting their asses handed to them. These guys in England, do it in they're style. Like, they're like, I just had me daughter taken away. Time to put on the Iron Man costume. <laughs> the fat Iron Man costume. <laughs> the triple XL costume. I want that. I didn't know they made them that big. I want it. I'm going to be the fat Iron Man. So uh, that brings us back to Doe. Wouldn't that be like more like uh, Metal Man at that point? <laughs> You're like, what, what's heavier, iron or metal? He looks like yellow cake is what he looks like. Look A big <laughs> fat slice of yellow cake. <laughs> Looks damn tasty, I've got to say. <laughs> looks like a delicious human being. So these dudes had known that we covered them a couple times and uh, tipped us and said that they were going to have a rally Who on was that? Saturday. That's uh, Kenneth uh, Kenneth Clark. Oh, that's the Ken superhero Clark. guy? Well, not the superhero, though. Secretary uh, of State for Justice. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he's, they said that they were going to have a rally and... We sure as shit did put up an article saying they're going to have a rally. Yeah. Because we're there. into breaking news that no one else has. Totally. We even though the story. Even though Hope, Huffington Post probably uh, is taking credit for it. They probably. What are you so, going to do? Uh, yeah, you know, and they, they, England's got a lot of, if you like, if you go to the story and then click on England or click on United Kingdom or whatever, you could see kind of all the stories that are going on in England right now. There's like kind of a lot of upheaval about the government's promising that fathers will have a meaningful... Uh, relationship with their kids but then um they're making laws that say that um you know fathers have to go to court if in the event of a divorce just to fight to see their kids dude uh, there's kind of there's a lot of weird stuff that i don't even since i'm not there and i don't like to read uh, right i mean there's a whole lot of stuff that i've tried to read and can't get through but uh i mean you know they staged all these protests and it's uh, important to them and that's why we doing it. that's why we put it up there uh, totally and like we you know there aren't a lot of rallies that we hear about in the united states so yeah. we're really grateful that these dudes keep like or i hope keep emailing us about this stuff yeah and if they you're emailed us an update if you have a superhero <laughs> superhero costume <laughs> and you're in england and you want to join these guys you know look up these uh these guys at uh what is it family uh, it's like real fathers for the number four justice real fathers for justice dot info I'll look it up um, and I'll put it down here. And we, uh, I really should put an update on that article because they sent us a link. Um, but they sure as hell climbed to the roof of this building. Um, to these, like this Ken Clark guy's house. Or yeah, something. I see pictures. These dudes, like I was the, saying before uh, the show, like if anyone ever like climbed to the roof of like Obama's house, like they'd be shot just for thinking about it, like three blocks down. Even talking about like, it. Yeah, I we're like probably, if you don't see us next week. That you'll, you'll know, you'll know why. That happened. <laughs> we were talking about it. 
We both look like we're in the Aryan Nation. <laughs> so we're as close to conspiracy theorists as we can be right now. I hope but, not. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I guess it went it went it went off without a hitch. Um, no one got arrested. It looks like these are the same dudes we'd covered before: Roger Court Jester Crawford and uh, Jeremy Superman Pogue. They had done a uh, protest on uh, David Cameron's office. You can look that up on the site. Blah 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 blah. Check it out. There you go. <laughs> so I'd love to tell you more, but <laughs> yes, <didn't> really. <laughs> so that's that, right? Yeah, yeah, it is totally. I'm like looking at it, it's like upcoming events, question, anything, anything? question. <laughs> <laughs> I always love our show notes because they're always like so so explicit. And they're just. And then we always read the stuff that's in parentheses that we're not supposed to read, just like Wayne's World. <laughs> anything? Uh, anything? Nope. Do you got anything? Nope. So that'd be that. Yes. So if you have a story that you would like to share, uh, you can contact us or uh, email us at dads at apitdad.com. And uh, you can learn how to be a writer by going to apitdad.com slash contribute. Well, like a writer for us, not like a writer in general. Right. We got no help for you on that one. You got to look You got to look at uh, one of those, you like know. The MLA handbook or something. Or like the books for dummies or whatever. Writers for dummies. Yeah. Uh, also, if you want to like us, and we hope that you like us. I like us. Uh, you can like us on Facebook. And that's facebook.com slash 8bitdad. And be sure to follow us on Twitter. Which is twitter.com slash apeddad. Show out. Oh, that's one of those things you're not supposed to read. No, you're not supposed to read okay. that. So that's it for this week's episode of Ape and Dad. I'm Zach Rosenberg. And I'm Brian Ferguson. Until next week. Bazinga. Mickey's y'all. Never again. I'm starting to get Mickey's poisoning. (laughs) (laughs) If anyone out there wants to remix that, just go for it. If anyone wants to auto-tune that, just go ahead. Don't blow it over here. I just... It's everywhere. (laughs) That...